Hey, and welcome back to the Assembly and First Principles uh, playlist. So, as we uh, learned in the last uh, uh, video, we're building a computer basically from one single logic gate, which was the NAND gate. And the first thing we uh, did was we built a NOT gate. So, NOT took in, NOT was basically a NAND gate and two inputs. And if they equaled each other, they spit out a zero. So they they basically negated the AND function. So now we're actually going to be building a, an AND gate from our NOT and NAND gate. So that's basically how we're approaching these projects is we're, we're building one, one step below and slowly building up and up and up. So for this, we're going to be building the AND and the OR gate. So for a NAND, so for, a, for an AND gate, we need a NOT chip and we need a NAND chip. So we already built those and we're just going to be using them now. So first thing we got to do is like we have the NAND chip and that is just the exact opposite of a um, AND chip. So we can use that and then just uh, forward its output to our NOT gate, which just negates it. Um, so uh, we need another variable. Uh, I think we can declare variables inside this. We don't need to declare them up there like other ones. So we're going to write um, uh, C1 and then NOT going to be uh, in equals so we're taking the output of the NAND gate and we're inputting in here so the NOT only takes in two uh, arguments because what what happens is that if you look at our NAND chip I don't have it open let me see here so sorry our, our NOT chip um, uh, we have in and it's taking the exact same thing so uh, a and b both equal in so in equals c1 so we're both we're setting both those so we ended up lowering the amount of arguments here just to not confuse you because yeah we made an, a chip with two arguments and now it becomes two so and then our out is going to be our out variable so yeah, that's basically it. Like we're just going from one layer below and pushing out. Um, so from our NAND to our NOT, and then we keep going. Um, so we'll save that. We'll launch our uh, hardware simulator. We're going to load our chip and so we loaded it with no errors. Now we're going to load our script and we load our test script. So this is going to be setting two variables now. Um, I will run it just to make sure we have no errors. Perfect. So end of script comparison ended successfully. So we have uh, uh, an output. Where's our and? output so we have our and output we're getting zero 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 one zero one zero zero one 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 so perfect that that truth table matches up to our and uh, truth table in our in our slides I guess uh, here yep so um, and it also matches the compare or else it wouldn't have passed that test so that's the AND gate. Now we are going to build the OR. So our OR gate is basically, um, so our OR gate, if we look at um, this, we're going to have uh, two entries as well. And it's just going to be, um, if one of them is true, then the function is true. So if you if, if you see here, like we have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0001, 
one zero one one one. So it's either one of them is true, um, and they're all then. If one of them is true, then it's true. Um, whereas in the AND gate, if if none of them are true, then it's false. So I will go over. That. I'm just trying to think here how to actually execute this because. Uh, okay, so or so we're have for this chip we have a not and we have an and and we have two knots. Um, so not and that could be an and then two knots. Okay. Um, one sec. Okay, so we have two knots. So we're building like inside out. Just, just to be clear here, I don't. We're gonna, we're gonna build from the inside out because it's easier that way. Like we're pushing out. We're, it's, we're middle out, whatever. Um, so we're going to have two not gates and an and. Now, if we think about, so each has to have an in. 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 No, we didn't. We set the other side to in. Okay, so in is going to equal a, and out is going to equal not a, because we're we're knotting this right. And then b is going to equal in is going to equal b, and out is going to equal not b. And then we have. Uh, a is equal to not A. One. And B is equal to not B. So that's one, zero. A is equal to zero. Okay. Let's try this. Sorry, I'm uh, just trying to think through it. Um, so we have n equals a, n equals b. We're knotting them so they come out not a and not b. Then bringing this in, so a is equal to not a, so we're pushing that through. And then b is equal to not b. And out equals out. Okay. Let me just try this. Okay. So I'll run it. I know it's going to work because I did this before. So it runs successfully. Let's just walk through it. So, so it's setting A to 0 and B to 0. So in comes, so it's 1 and 1. It's passing A equals 1, B equals 1. And then since it's not and one, it should be passing out a zero. Let's go to our output. Yeah, so zero. And then just move this down a bit. So this is our output up here. And then it's so then we set a equal to zero, one, b equal to one, so it's coming in. A is zero, that is one, so A is 
uh, 0, that equals 1, that is 1, that equals 0, that is 1, that equals 0, that equals 1, because it's not and, so uh, that ends up being 1. And then we, it's the same thing here, 1, 0, it just, it's the opposite of the last one, and then the last one is 1, 1, so 1, 1, that equals 0, that equals 0, that equals 0, 0, and then that's not and, so that's 1, so that works out. And we have the same truth table as our or compared, yep, yeah, so or compared and or out. Perfect. Okay, so that's the and and the or gate. It's been a long video, uh, but <laughs> uh, I hope uh, that made some sense. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.